We should. New exhibitions and installations are now open and on display at Arts District Liberty Station. Allie Wagner is standing by with more details. What song do you want to play, Allie? I wanted you to keep singing Fernando. <laughs> I thought that was going to be great. I was ready for it. Uh, I'm here for that. Thanks, Allie. Mm -hmm. No, 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 please, please. I don't want to waste your time on my... Oh, okay, okay, my, okay. okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, we are going to continue to have uh, a vision for everybody here at the Visions Museum, and I have Katrina, who is here, um, the executive director, and so tell me a little bit about the Visions Museum of Textile Art, because I had no idea this was here in Liberty Station. Yes, well, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. So this is a museum for textile and fiber art. And so we have all different forms, a wide variety of textile art here. You'll see quilts, you'll see embroidery, you'll see different forms of sewing, um, all displayed here by different artists, both locally and internationally. So it's a really great museum and a great opportunity. It's free, so we invite everyone to come in. And we're open Wednesday through Saturday, and it's a great opportunity for you to come and see these exquisite pieces here at Liberty Station. And you've been here since when? Only since November, so I am but new. The, but the museum? Oh, the museum has been here since 2007, so we were actually one of the first tenants here in uh, NTC, so it is an, an amazing space to come and just kind of see what has happened over the decades that we've been here. Yeah, and so tell me a little bit, because we are in an exhibit right now, and what blew me away by this was actually some of the shadow work. I was like, how unique, I had no idea. Yeah, so this is done by Esther Bornemisa. She's a Hungarian artist, and she actually came all the way from Hungary to help with the installation and help with our grand opening when we opened this exhibit. And it was incredible just to see her mind when she was thinking about maps. And so a lot of these are maps, and you'll see the shadows that kind of look like landscapes and reflect the maps inside us, you know? So it's kind of a metaphor for our lives and our inner workings, so. Wow, okay, so that's cool. And then as we come through here, tell me a little bit about some of the work that we see um, on the walls over here. So kind of ironically, this one is called Tiny Pieces, but they're all some of our largest pieces. But what they did was something called piecing. What they took is a bunch of little pieces of fabric and put them together and made these exquisite, um, quilts that you'll see on the wall here. This is actually the biggest one we've ever had at the museum. And it's kind of funny, somebody came in with 3D glasses and put them on and it kind of stands out to you when you look at this one with 3D glasses. So you never know what you're gonna see when you come in and look at one of these quilts. How long does something like that take to put together? It depends, you know, I try to ask that question and artists kind of deflect sometimes because I think they start a project and they'll put it to the side and they'll come back to it. And so it really just depends on, you know, the artist and how much time they wanna take. But a lot of times it takes several months, sometimes up to a year. Wow, okay, now I do wanna make sure um, that we come and check out this as well because these pieces are really unique as well. Tell me about these in your spotlight gallery. Yes, yeah, so these are done by Diane Reeves and they're just opening today. So this is gonna be the first time that they're open to the public and they're called Isolation. And if you go close up, you'll be able to see that these are images that she took actually while she was on walks during COVID. And she was able to print those images and then add sewing and mixed media onto the canvases so that they really pop. But they really kind of show that isolation and experience that people had during COVID and her own experience. And so it really kind of brings back some of those memories for us and holds on to what happened during COVID. But it's also, I can't believe the use of textiles. I'm like, I don't even know how you come up with that. So once again, people can come, they can check you out. You're free for people to come in and explore and kind of learn a little bit about this world. And you guys are open again, what days? We're open Wednesday and Thursday from 10 to 2 and Friday and Saturday 10 to 4. So fun and so many unique items in here. If you need to go shopping, wow, I was blown away by their store that they have in here as well. But who knew what a fun, cool museum that is free here in Liberty Station. Back over to you guys. So well, I see some stuff, some stuff has a price tag and other stuff, is it just for to come look at? Is that how it works? Some quilts have a price tag on them. Yes. Right? Yes, so all of our pieces are actually for sale. So we have a price list here at the front. So if anyone is interested in purchasing, we do have a price list available. Ah, there you go. So if you want to hang that, that I feel like really speaks to you, Paul Rudy. I, I don't know. I know. We, I can see that in your wall in OB. Is it impolite? <laughs> to ask the price? Is it impolite to ask how much? <laughs> I mean, I'd love to wait. I up bet to that. you it's probably out of your price range. Well, you don't know. I've been saving. I, uh, so what, what? I would, I'm sure there's a range for the prices on elements. Obviously, well, they we'll are hanging out in the museum. Costs. So, I mean, you kind of figure. 
That was the most expensive one here, so. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> you have good taste, Paul. Whisper. That's what she's saying. Whisper how much? We, everyone whisper. So no one else can hear it, just much? between you and me. I'll text you later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is. Wow. I'm the guy I, that you can Sounds like you give me a range. Expensive enough to say market price. Yeah. What do you think? I have no idea. Right. Neither do I. I don't know. I, I do know that. Three grand, is, ten grand. More, I don't know. What more, more than ten yeah. grand?